Meditron is a suite of open source medical large language models. So this is an exciting release in the clinical or medical large language models space. So there are two models, Meditron 7 billion and Meditron 70 billion. So this is a research work among researchers from various uh, universities like EPFL, uh, ADAP Research Institute, Open Assistant and Yale. So what is exciting about this particular model, right? The Meditron family of medical large language. One is that it is actually, you know, they are adopting LAMA 2 to the medical domain through continued pre-training on a comprehensively curated medical corpus. So this is a domain specific model which has been created by fine tuning LAMA 2 on medical data or medical corpus. Right. So they are uh, doing it on a selected PubMed papers and abstracts and a new data set of internationally recognized medical guidelines and a general domain purpose. And what they say is that this particular model outperforms LAMA 2 70 billion GPT 3.5 and plan farm on multiple medical reasoning tasks. So this is an LLM for the medical or clinical data. Okay. So for all those medical and clinical use cases where you want to make use of LLMs, so this is a very good model now. Now if you look at the performance of this particular model over here, if you look at uh, you know this particular uh, benchmark called MedQA or dataset on which uh, you know you have these larger models like MedPalm. This is from Google, uh, this is 540 billion parameters. So this has a score of say 86.2, right? Metron, uh, Meditron 70 billion actually has a performance of 70.2 over here. So this model, okay, it outperforms GPT 3.5 and MedPalm, okay, the older MedPalm and GPT 3.5 models. It outperforms them and it is within 5% of GPT 4 and 10% of MedPalm 2. These are all closed source models, okay. This is an open source model. So this will actually now drive open source development and um, you know, development of more capable medical LLMs. Okay. Now this model is already available on Hugging Face. You can go and download this model and you can try it for yourself on your clinical tasks. Okay. The code is Apache 2 license, uh, whereas the model follows Lama 2's community license agreement. And based on that, I believe it cannot be really used for commercial purpose or there are some restrictions. Okay. But uh, if you are doing research, you can download this model and you can further fine tune it on your data set and so on. Okay. And they've also released this clinical guidelines uh, data set, which is quite interesting. Um, so they have released this clinical guidelines uh, corpus, which is a new data set of 46, 649 clinical practice guidelines from 16 high quality online medical sources. Okay. This is an important component of the original training corpus of Meditron LLM. So this has been released. The other data sets used in this paper are, uh, you know, your PubMed, uh, uh, what you call PubMed abstracts, full text articles, right? Um, so those are the other data sets which have been used over here. PubMed abstracts, PubMed papers. And if you look at pre-training, it has been done on a close to 46.7 billion tokens. Okay, so they are further pre-training the Llama 2 model, the 7B and 70 billion parameter model on this particular data to adapt it to this domain. Okay. Other details are present over here in the paper on what exactly is being done. So they talk about this continued pre training and supervised fine tuning. Okay. And uh, for the engineering, they are making use of some uh, Megatron LLM library from distributed training library from NVIDIA. Okay. Uh, this is an extension of the NVIDIA Megatron LM. So this is for distributed training. Hardware details are present over here for training these models. Okay. And for evaluation, they did in context learning, based evaluation, chain of thought and self consistent, uh, self consistent chain of thought prompting. So those are the techniques used over here. Uh, details are present over here regarding the implementation. So basically this is the prompt. If you were to use this model today, um, this is the prompt which is present over here uh, for this particular model. Um, I am start and uh, there is a system question and answer identifier. So the 
question is where your uh, prompt is where here your text goes context basically and your uh, question and the answer so this example is present over here so here is a system prompt you are a medical doctor so and so so and so question which of the following ultrasound findings and then here is an answer and then here is an answer which needs to be uh, you know generated by the model so we have to use this prompt if we were to use this model over here okay uh, and if you look at performance of this model versus uh, your other open source models of similar size for example among 7 billion parameter model this model performs better than the mistral or zephyr or pmc llama 7 billion or llama 2 7 billion. and for mistral and zephyr they have used the instruct tuned versions over here when they are doing this evaluation on medical benchmarks okay it performs better than llama 2 also over here with chain of thought prompting or self consistent chain of thought um, prompting this model is currently the best open source model for clinical or medical data based tasks okay and when compared to your closed source models like gpt 3.5 or say medpalm 540 billion this model performs better than gpt 3.5 on certain on tasks okay on almost all these tasks on these benchmarks and it is within say 5 points or 10 points performance of gpt 4 and medpalm 2 540 billion which are even bigger models but these are closed source models and this is an open source model so this model can be used for your clinical tasks okay but they also have a disclaimer over here is that you cannot use it as such probably you need to use it with extensive use case alignment as well as additional testing including randomized control trials in a real world practice settings so this is an essential requirement for any application developed in the healthcare space so that's what they have put over here so this is a short video on meditron uh, llms these are llms for the healthcare space so you can check it out i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the links to this particular github page the paper as well as the hugging face uh, page of the models you can check it out see you in another video